you looking forward to today, Darcy? Yeah, hopefully I won't get more sunburnt. Oh my gosh. Bit of advice. I never, I never take this advice myself, but be careful of the sun. We are going to the Philronic village. Um, I've been there before when I came here uh, a few years ago. Me and Darcy slept in and didn't get breakfast. I think we just paid 10p for four bits of bread. That's amazing. <laughs> Mum, what do you think of this? Um, this is so beautiful. Uh, Hello, mate. That horse actually looked a bit healthier than the horses we were riding the other night. These donkeys having a good old snack on the uh, and the rubbish bin there. Meh. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> this little stroll into these streets was a complete accident, but. It's been a highlight for me already. There's so much colour and vibrancy and variation in these streets. You've taken back centuries probably, it wasn't different to this a hundred years ago probably. <laughs> Look at this, there are bullet holes in the front of this car. We are now here at the Pharaonic Village. I'm looking forward to this. Good suggestion, Darcy. Just come off the boat. That was a nice little tour down the river and seeing some of the historical methods I use. And we're now entering a building from the museum. We're going to dress up for a photo as pharaohs and or something. What are you, a pharaoh? Is this a pharaoh's yes. costume? Yeah, yeah. Pharaoh, yeah, Louis the pharaoh. I need to buy some of these clothes. I think this is pretty traditionally Egyptian. And I can just stroll around casually being like, yeah, what? I'm a pharaoh. Darcy's doing some photography. Go and snap some pictures and then I can put them in the video after this. To our tour guide today and she said she's studying to be an archaeologist so this is like the ideal job for her kind of teaching the history of Egypt to people. Fascinating watching this guy blowing glass and creating these amazing little perfect glass. This guy is just getting my friend Mizna's name written on this glass perfume bottle. We're walking around this historical museum of Islam. We're boarding a boat that's going to do a little tour on the Nile, which is cool. Good shout on the Pharaonic village, Darcy. It's so nice seeing Cairo from the boat, just looking across, such a good view. We're jumping in the car, 
going to this traditional Arab marketplace, which I'm really looking forward to. So I've just pulled up in the crazy market area and we're gonna, uh, gonna have a little wander around and maybe get some food, we're really hungry. Look at these chickens just chilling here. Why don't they run away? Oh, there's so many cute animals around. We're probably gonna eat one of them. Egyptian street pigeon here. I just ordered the pigeon. I think they may be going out and just catching one off the street maybe and grilling that up. So hopefully um, it will be tasty and disease free. A grilled pigeon. Okay, the, the waiter's just told me I have to eat this with my hands and I have to eat the bones. I have to eat the bones. Chew, chew, crunch them up. Crunch yes. the bones. Okay, I'm going to crunch the bones up and eat it. Let's just do this. Trust me, I swear, my friend. I'm just eating and there's just a cat just down here. Hey, mate. Look at this little kid. Hello. I've got pigeon bones stuck in my teeth. We're getting hustled, we're getting hustled from every corner, but it's still a lot of fun. We've got some clothes, some more clothes, yeah. this time a bit more of an Egyptian style top. So uh, what do you guys think? This guy's seen my shirt and he said he can offer me the same shirt for half the price. Which I don't mind too much that I've got out haggled because you know, it's good, it's, it's giving someone an income. Are you finding it a little bit stressful Darcy with the, the haggling? Only when the they hustle. grab you by the wrist and try to drag you into their shop. That's when it gets a bit panicky. Give me my business card here. Have a look. Uh, it's okay, no, thanks. No, take my card. I think the key is not to take people too seriously. Don't worry about letting people down and walking away. Just to enjoy, to take it in. If you want to buy something, go for it. Pay a price you're happy with. Oh, we're going to stop for a coffee. Should we stop for a coffee here? We're going to have a quick coffee just to get some energy for the drive back. Right, back on the road, back on this chaotic Egyptian road. This is quite a crazy drive home. We actually drove into a football match that, that some kids had blocked the road off and we ended up in the back streets and it was pretty mental. Now we're kind of getting back on track. Another mental drive, another mental night. Woo! End of the day, going to bed. What a day. Catch you guys tomorrow, peace out.